Hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to be doing an AP Calculus review on basic integrals and uh, the graph of an integral. So say you're given this kind of a problem on uh, AP on the AP test and um, say you calculate the area under this portion of the curve to be 6 and this to be 4. Okay, so here are the types of questions that you'd be asked. Um, the integral of a to c of f of x dx, so let's look, what would that be? So a to c, so the whole thing so far. So what would the area be? Well, this area is positive 6, right? And this would technically be negative because it's below the x-axis. So what do we do? Is uh, 6 minus 4. So 6 minus 4 equals 2. So 2 is our answer for that one. Now what if you flip the limits of integration? Instead of a to c, now you're c to a. So what do you do? That means you go and you're integrating in this direction, which means... Um, simply your answer is just going to be the opposite. So this would be negative 2, right? Uh, another way to think of it is as this would be positive and this would be negative and you get the, uh, you would get negative 2. So that's how you get that one. And next question is when you deal with absolute value. Now when the absolute value um, is on the inside here um, from a to C, you simply take, uh, you pretend that the whole function is above the x-axis. So stuff that's below it, like this portion here, all you're, all you're gonna do is make a like little dot here, kind of like this like dashed line, like what it would be, and this would be the same area for. So you're gonna ignore this portion, and then you're gonna add up the area from this curve, uh, from this region and this region, and that, and you would get six plus four which is 10. So now that we figured that out, this is 10. And the reason at the, um, why you would um, why you would have the uh, dashed lines above here is because absolute value, when you take the absolute value of something, nothing can be negative, right? So nothing can be negative. Therefore, what's negative becomes positive. So that's why this kind of flips up here. Um, so we would get 10. And now you're taking the absolute value for this problem of the entire um, answer here. So no the limits of integration are flipped, so it's C to A instead of A to C normally. So C to A would be going in this direction. And as we learned calculated before, you get negative 2, correct? But since you get negative 2, you take the absolute value of that and you would get positive 2. So these are the different types of answers or questions you may see on the AP test and make sure you know the difference between all of them.